it off. Today we're joining you from our nursery, which is quiet, boring, and simple, but not for long. We are going to add a chair rail in here onto the walls. We had these beautiful custom built-ins made from Lowe's Home Improvement, and the rest of the room feels a little bit boring. Well, it's just to be determined, but again, it is quiet for now. Quiet for now. Not for long, though. Not for long. So we are going to add a chair rail around the room with picture frame molding below just to add a little interest to the walls. A little spice. A little spice in here. So this is an easy DIY woodworking project that anyone can do. Mm -hmm. We're going to tackle it today. gather your supplies. We hit up Lowe's and bought Prime Chair Rail. This came in eight foot lengths and we got five of them for this room. We also loaded up on lots of PVC base cap molding. To begin, you need to figure out where you want to place your chair rail. Traditionally, it's placed on the lower one third portion of the wall. We decided to go a bit higher, about 45 inches up from the floor. I recommend using painter's tape to visualize it before you decide. I marked a line 45 inches up from the floor in the middle of the first wall. I then drew a level horizontal line using that mark. Repeat this on all of your walls. Now time for the chair rail. I used both liquid nails and my brad nailer to attach the chair rail to the wall. Try to hit studs where possible. Eventually you'll get to a corner. Those pieces will need to be cut at a 45 degree angle on your miter saw. That way it fits perfectly with the piece next to it which will be cut at a 45 degree angle the other way. I find it easiest to take the piece of trim to the wall and draw an arrow on it with my pencil. So when I bring it to the saw, I cut it the correct way. One piece had to make it around a light switch. For this, we use the oscillating saw to cut out the excess wood. With the chair rail up, it's time for the picture frame molding. This is where more math comes into play. We placed every box four inches below the chair rail four inches above the baseboard, and four inches apart. But the boxes are not all the same size. You'll determine the size of the boxes based on your wall width. A longer wall may have larger boxes, whereas a shorter wall may have smaller ones. I cut four pieces, cutting each edge at a 45 degree angle so they fit together nicely. I then attach them the same way, with liquid nails and my brad nailer. There were a few spots where I ran into outlets, so I just cut straight edges on those pieces. It took me one day to get the chair rail and picture frame molding up on three walls in the nursery. It's day two of the chair rail project and all of the wood is up, it looks amazing. Now time to do some prep work in order to be ready to prime and paint. To prep the walls, I first fill in the nail holes using painter's putty. Just ball it up and smush it into the holes. Caulking is a bit more time consuming. For this, I'm using white latex caulk with a caulk gun. I'm wearing a respirator and gloves just as an extra precaution since I'm pregnant. When caulking, I like to run a thin bead of caulk along the line. I then follow it with a wet finger and wipe up any excess with a damp rag. I do this to every single seam on my wood pieces. Finn takes over the rest of the project from here. He is a huge fan of our new paint sprayer, so instead of hand rolling and brushing, he will spray the chair rail with primer and paint. This means a lot of prep work. He carefully tapes off the floor, doors, built-ins, really anywhere that we don't want painted. This takes a while, but it's so worth it because the painting part is then really, really fast. The room is ready. Now we're gonna spray it up, paint it up. Hopefully that part goes fast because this took forever. Spraying because it's amazing, it's fun, and it's super fast. And you get to wear a cool little suit. Finn puts on his plastic suit and preps the paint sprayer with primer. He then primes the room with one light coat. Once that dries, he preps the paint sprayer with our sage green color. We ended up using the Valspar Simplicity paint line because it has zero VOC. Perfect for our nursery. 
We color matched our green built-in, so I don't have the exact color name for you. Finn goes to town with two light coats of the green paint. Oh my goodness, I'm in love with the chair rail we added here in the nursery. It turned out amazing and adds so much life and interest to this room. It really was an easy and budget-friendly project that makes the room look much more high-end and special. Now, time to get the rest of this room ready for our baby girl's arrival.